it's a one-sided battle of man versus machine. This is Nablus on the West Bank, a scene that's become all too familiar in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Palestinian youths confronted one of the Israeli army's hated bulldozers. Israeli soldiers call it Dubi or teddy bear, but there's nothing cuddly about these specially modified bulldozers. At 64 tons, it's a machine of awesome, destructive power, the iron fist of the Israeli army. They're used not only to destroy Palestinian houses, which Israel claims is justified for security reasons. They're also used in the construction of settlements and bypass roads, as well as Israel's controversial security barrier. At the same time, they have been used to uproot thousands of Palestinian olive and fruit trees. The company supplying the bulldozers is Caterpillar, one of the world's most profitable. In the first half of this year, recording sales of $17.6 billion. For Palestinians, it's a name that has become synonymous with the occupation. These Caterpillar products have resulted in the demolishing of thousands of Palestinian homes in the occupied territories, in the construction of hundreds of illegal settlements in the occupied territories, and they very much symbolize foreign involvement in the occupation. Anguish at the death of a friend. Two years ago, Rachel Corey, an American peace activist, was crushed under a bulldozer supplied by Caterpillar as she tried to block its path. Her death brought to international attention a campaign which has been running for five years. It urges the boycott of Caterpillar products. Caterpillar workers, Perkins workers, please take a leaflet from us about the demolitions in Palestine. Here in Britain, activists have protested outside factories owned by Caterpillar. They've also targeted stores, like this one in Manchester, selling Caterpillar footwear, one of the company's best-known products. The Corrie family's lawyers recently launched a civil action in the United States, accusing the company of human rights violations and demanding compensation in connection with her death. The case now includes other plaintiffs. Caterpillar has filed a motion to dismiss the Corrie case. Lawyers acting for the family say Caterpillar is liable because the company has been repeatedly told by human rights groups since the 1980s that its vehicles are used in house demolitions. They say the company knowingly contravenes international law but has failed to act. How is Israel demolishing these homes? Well, it's using Caterpillar bulldozers. Is it just going out and buying them? Are these just bulldozers they take from highway projects and they bring them in the morning to demolish homes and then they go back. And as we began to investigate, we found that actually these are, aren't your normal bulldozers. To his horror, Jeff Halper, an American Jew who runs the Israeli Committee Against House Demolitions, discovered that bulldozers usually used for construction have been transformed into highly destructive, militarized machines. These are two-story tremendously powerful machines. They're machines that are really mining equipment that have been modified especially for the Israeli army by Caterpillar to demolish homes. In a statement to Channel 4 News, Caterpillar maintains that Caterpillar does not make these modifications. This is done by the customer. For the past four years, activists have wrongly included Caterpillar in a publicity campaign aimed at advancing their much larger political agendas. Caterpillar fully complies with all local, U.S. and international laws and policies governing sales of our products around the world. Not a view shared by Palestinians. Look, in the United States, we have a law that products cannot be used in violation of international law. So if Caterpillar is fully aware that its products are being used by the Israeli government, its customer, to violate the Fort Geneva Convention, to violate the rights of Palestinians under occupation, then Caterpillar is under an obligation to stop selling those products. Unfortunately, Caterpillar has learned that it prefers profits over human rights. But the Israelis say that security is the reason they use bulldozers. Most of the caterpillars are certainly used in Israel in order to build and construct, to build homes and, and, and till fields or whatever. Uh, but if they are also used in, in uh, mattress 
which serve to defend ourselves against the onslaught of terrorism, which has only one aim in mind, to kill us. I think that uh, certainly neither t uh, Caterpillar or any other company should be made a victim of uh, selling us their tools. This summer, Israel was for the first time happy to emphasize the destruction wrought by its bulldozers. And this is what they want the world to focus on. The demolition of Jewish homes evacuated in the recent withdrawal from settlements in Gaza and the West Bank. Uh, the government has made a decision to evacuate this uh, settlements and uh, they're, they're turning down the, the Jewish homes too. So there's no uh, discrimination between uh, Palestinians and Jews. Israeli human rights groups insist there is no comparison. That's a very different equation using Caterpillar uh, bulldozers to demolish settler homes within a, a political process uh, in which there aren't victims, in a sense, versus using it as a, as a tool of oppression uh, in an occupied territory. But now, though, Caterpillar refuses to stop the sale of bulldozers to Israel. This week, the company announced that it will significantly increase production to meet international demands. Ironically, the Palestinians may soon be customers themselves as they rebuild Gaza's shattered infrastructure.